And finally, another technique for customizing our quiz is to customize the player template. Well, how the scoring displays, how the title displays, we have some options for colors. So let's go ahead and just do that now. So we click player templates here from the question view. And by default, we are working from the one of the default templates because we just started a new quiz when we began this project. Let's go ahead and edit this and the quiz maker will ask us to rename it. So just click edit. So here's the uh, some options for the layout. We can display the question point value, cumulative score. I tend to disable a lot of this unless I'm working with a larger quiz. Just feel like it's a lot of extra noise on the uh, quiz interface. So again, it's all up to you. Uh, we can also turn off the numbering. I like to do that too, unless I'm again working with a larger quiz. But for one or two questions, I typically uh, try to turn off as much as I can. Uh, we can disable the question list. That's the little drop down. We can go ahead and take that out and display timer. We don't need a timer on this one. We're not using one anyway, but I just turn that off. Now for navigation, we're submitting uh, one question at a time. That's fine. Text labels if we wanted to customize. Colors and effects. This is the one I really want to change right now. Uh, by default, uh, Quizmaker comes with some color schemes. You can see those right down here. We have some starter colors. If I select one, like black, you can see the, uh, the colors updated here on the player. I'm going to leave a dark color. I don't want to do too much with it, but if I really wanted to drill down and customize the colors, I could do that as well. Sound effects, typically turn these off as well. Kind of fun for the first time, but when you start taking a bunch of quizzes and creating them, that little clicking sound, uh, tends to just be uh, a little bit more. We, we didn't customize our fonts. We didn't really use any custom fonts here, but if I had, I would consider aligning those fonts with my player font, whether uh, complementing the font or actually using one of the same uh, fonts that we used here. But in this case, we just worked with the default, so I'll leave that one here. Rounded corners, do we want it round? You can see it kind of updates right there. Doesn't really matter here. I think the rounded corners look nice, and we're not working with the Likert scale. And at this point, that's it. Let's go ahead and click OK, and we'll be prompted to rename our file. Let's just call this one, OK, and click OK. And there it is in use. Go ahead and click Close. And then finally, we can change a few of the quiz properties, like the title of the quiz. So let's go back up to our menu bar and click Quiz Properties and Quiz Info. And here we can give this a custom name, not the file name. It takes the file name by default. So let's go ahead and just there we go. Everything else here is okay to leave as it is. I'll click OK. And that's it. Let's go ahead and preview our quiz. And here we go. We have our updated colors on our player. We have the updated title. You don't see all of the question numbers and scoring on the quiz. And then, of course, we uh, updated our hovers here for each of our choices. So if I click this one, right, this is the one I would like to test because if I, when I go to the feedback, I should go to the, uh, the first feedback slide. And those are the two right there. When I click Next, I'll go to the new question. Okay, so that's it for our custom quiz. The only thing left that I would do would be to either uh, add something def as a default uh, message here to say, you know, make sure to update question two, because right now this is a duplicate, right? We, we duplicated the group, but I'd probably want to do something that said uh, this needs to be updated and just make sure you update it before you publish it. You know, to make sure and then maybe something down here, right? Just so that we have some kind of visual to remember. Now, if, if we're only going to work with one question, this doesn't matter, but because we we're working with templates here. We wanted to make sure that we actually uh, make a note to ourselves because at this point, all of these slides are jumping to the new question. Hope that helps, but if you have any questions at all, go ahead and post in the forums. Be happy to uh, support you in your Quizmaker development. Thanks a lot.